Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I made these really simple and cute shrink plastic Christmas pieces and you can make these into jewelry, charms, anything that you want. If you're looking for a quick last minute Christmas gift idea, this is your solution. Here's my tree outline that I printed out. If you can freehand, please go ahead and do that. I just have no drawing sense at all. I can barely draw a stick figure. Now I'm going to take some masking tape and tape the shrink plastic down. Now a lot of you have asked me where to get shrink plastic and I get mine from the dollar store. I'm sure you can find it online and at craft stores. It's usually called shrink plastic. It can also be called shrinky dinks. I don't really know any brand names, but if you Google it, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. This shrink plastic is actually frosted, so it means that you don't need to sand it and it will hold the color very well. Next, I'm going to be coloring the shrink plastic, and you can color this any color you want. Here are a few samples that I made. I'm gonna go with a more Christmas tree, natural looking color, but I think the pastel is really cute as well. I'm gonna be using colored pencils. You can also use chalk pastels, and look it, it is a mess in here because I dropped it a while ago. I'm gonna take the dark green, I'm gonna go with this orangish yellow and this light green. Let's go with these three colors. I'm just gonna go ahead and color it in. And depending how dark you want the finished product to look, you can go over it a few times, but I'm just gonna go over it lightly. That should be good. It may look a little bit light on camera right now, but once we toast it and shrink it, the colors are gonna get a lot darker. You can see the difference here. Now this step is totally optional, but I'm going to add a white outline to the tree with a chalk marker just to make it pop a little bit more. The white doesn't show up at all, but if I put my hand under here, you can sort of see it. But again, once you toast it, it's gonna look really nice. I say toast it, I guess the technical term is bake. I don't know, once you shrink it. Next, we're gonna be super classy and take the lid of this jar and place it upside down and I'm going to trace around the outside with a colored pencil. You're going to want to make two of these, but I did not plan ahead and I only have room for one, so I will get another sheet of shrink plastic, but you're going to need two of these because you're making earrings. Unless you're only making one earring, then one is fine. I have my next tool here, and it is the lid of nail polish remover. Make sure you don't spill the nail polish remover if you're using nail polish remover though I'm probably the only person that is using nail polish remover. Moving on, place the lid in the middle of the circle and trace around that. Make sure it's centered. Ta-da! And your wreath is ready. So, you're gonna color this in and then outline it if you want and then we'll cut them out. And make sure you save your shrink plastic scraps, guys. There's so much you can make with these, and I'll have a video on that in the future, but don't waste them. They're usable. Here are the pieces, and I realized I should have shown you how I cut the middle out, but I actually struggled with it a little bit myself. I used my scissors and made a little cut. You can also use an X-Acto blade, and then just cut around the circle. And it's okay if it's a little jagged, because we'll sand it after. Now I'm going to take my hole punch, and this is a 5.5 millimeter one, and I was holding it the wrong way. Okay, so go ahead and make a hole at the top or wherever you want to put your chain on, and yeah, make sure it's not too far away from the top or else you'll need a very big jump ring to connect it. That should be good. Now I'm going to punch a hole in these as well. So now I'm going to bake them according to instructions and a few of you guys have asked me if you can microwave them. I've never tried, but I don't think so. I think the plastic would just melt. So you're going to want to use an oven or an oven toaster. I am back and as you can see, the size balance is a little bit off and these may be a little bit big for earrings unless you like really big dangly earrings. And I know some people do, so that is perfectly fine. I actually shrunk down the tree template from my sample version because I thought this was a really big necklace. So as you saw, I improvised with the wreath. I used lids that I had around the house. So this was the only size that I had at the moment because I didn't want to run around and find some different ones. But um, yes, find the size that works for you. You can really do anything you want. So 
Don't really worry about the rough edges, just make sure it's flat after you've baked it. And I press my shrink plastic. I use this case and a book and I just pressed it flat. I'm gonna be using UV resin. A few of you have said that you can't get UV resin where you live, so we're improvising today. We're making last minute gifts. You can use nail polish, top coat, you can use Mod Podge, and all you really wanna do is give it a little bit of shine or keep it matte if you want. But what you wanna do is seal in the color so it doesn't rub off on clothes, fingers, and other objects. Here is a little bit of resin. I have a sparkly glitter mix here. It has some fine glitters and chunky glitters in here. You can use whatever glitters you would like. I'm gonna go a little bit heavy handed on the glitter. As you saw in the sample, I like it sparkly. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in. And then because we have holes in the pieces, I'm just going to put a very thin layer over the top first and keep adding layers to dome it instead of trying to do one big fat layer because then it will fill up the hole. And it is okay if the hole gets filled up because you can take a little hand drill and open it back up. So don't worry guys, we have it under control. I don't like getting resin on my fingers so I take a toothpick and hold it down like that and then use my other hand to spread the resin. Doesn't that look pretty with the glitter? It looks like one of those fruit gummies. I think I'm going to need a little bit more resin for the tree. Doesn't that look great? A little bit lopsided on that one, but that's still fixable. So I'm gonna go pop these into my UV lamp to cure the resin and I will be back. And we are back. So here is the finished piece. You can dome it more if you want. I actually like it like this, but if you do want it domed, you can give it a few more layers of resin. I would say that looks really good. So I actually am in the middle of rearranging my craft room and I have no clue where my findings are right now, but I'm assuming that if you're here, you're a little bit crafty. And I do have past videos where I show how I add jump rings and chains to my pieces, so I will link that down below, so check that out if you are feeling a little bit lost. But yes, here is my last minute Christmas idea. I think it would be cool to make these in different color schemes, and then you can have like best friend jewelry sets, that'd be fun. Or you know, with a family member. So if you make these, please let me know, send me a photo on Instagram or Twitter, Facebook, and let me know what other handmade gifts you are working on this year, and I will see you guys next time.